This is the single track from Kankaan Taka to Koukku. Let's go! The start of this trail is quite easy. Small rocks, but hard packed single track. It's climbing almost all the time, but these climbs are easy if I just don't push it too hard and keep the speed low enough so that I have energy to go through this trail. The weather is quite grey and the ground also looks looks like it's it's wet but it's it's not. Only the only the surface of the ground is a bit moist. But under that there's there's dry ground so it's not that slippery. And now this trail starts to turn into more technical terrain. I rode this trail once with my cross bike. That was a very tough ride. I can manage this with a cross bike, but I felt so beaten up after, afterwards, so usually I ride this with, with mountain bike only. This is the largest downhill section on this trail. And it seems that this is quite wet. I have to be careful. <clears throat> there are just some spots that are wet. Otherwise this trail is... Whoa! Try. That was a nasty route. This is the toughest part of this trail. Okay, this is getting muddy. That was easy. There's the second downhill. Oh, that was a deep hole. I almost got scared that I will fly over the bars, but no, no. Everything is under control. <laughs> and sometimes not, but... I can feel my legs start burning a bit. 
I need to slow down a bit. I have done one kilometer. There's still two to go. Yeah, two kilometers to go. That was the sign that I'm following the right trail. Now this is so technical. A lot of large rocks and I cannot find a smooth flow at all. The front tire is hitting the obstacles all the time and killing all the speed. And the light rain is making these rocks dangerously slippery. Where is a good line? I cannot find it. My, my back tire is slipping all the time from the rocks. Whoa, it's hot. And climbing just continues all the time. This is a tough trail. It doesn't let me cruise at all. Not even one meter. And that's why I love this trail. It makes me push harder and that makes me better. Climbing is over, at least for now. It's a crossroad, but I need to go forward. I see some motorbike trails. I've never seen a motorbike here, but sometimes I see the so there must be a couple of kids riding on these trails every once in a while. This is a very, very silent, silent and not crowded at all trail. I rarely see anyone here. There are quite a lot of mountain bikers, but we have so much trail, trails around the city that usually I just ride alone or with my riding buddies and I don't see anyone else.
Oh, relaxing downhill. And now it's raining even more. Rear wheel started sliding and I was on top of a large rock and I couldn't touch the ground with my foot. But I managed to survive that. So, when it's slippery like this, what do you think? Which one is the best, best way to go? Slow down or go even faster forward so that there's no time for you to slide sideways. I'm trying the speeding option. I think I'm done most of the vertical meters. And I'm approaching the last quarter of the ride. There is a surprise in the end. I can show you one special thing. Last crossroad, I'll have to go to the left, and it says 800 meters. The trail that went forward was going to Ikuri. That's also a nice trail that I need to show you someday. But today I'm heading to Koku. There is this nice little cottage. It's not open today but it's open during the winter time when we have snow and this track serves as a ski track. It's actually a very popular place for people to ski and, and then ski back. It's located almost on the highest point of the town so, going there is all the time uphill, at least almost all the time. But when you make it there, it's nice to have a short break, enjoy a cup of warm juice, and then head back to home and enjoy the great rewards. Which is something like three kilometers of downhill. Okay, there is the surprise. Can you guess what is that? Like a wooden mountain. How should I say it? It is a huge pile of wood dust. I'm kind of a small gutter. But that's only the surface. Under the surface there's tons and tons of snow from last winter. And when the days get cold enough, that snow is taken, taken under the wood dust and we can make ski tracks before we get any new fresh snow. I think that amount of snow, that's enough for three kilometers of ski tracks.
And now we come to the finish line. I think I got some insects in my hair. I don't know what the name is in English, but in Finnish it's Hirvikarpanen. And that's a nasty little fly. Okay, this is not a cottage. 